Right, so what I've done is I've done my big ones already. Now I've embossed it with some white embossing powder and then I've sponged the edges and I've done the same on some smaller ones as well. So I'm going to show you how to do those first of all. So we have a piece of pool party. This is our pool party cardstock. I've already mounted it onto one of our larger blocks. So with some Versamark, I'm just going to plop some of that, splodge it all over on a good, nice, good covering. Now with the whoops, oh that didn't work. Where did it? Right, let's turn it over. Try that again. With the punch, what I was going to say, oh, crash bang wallop. With the punch, when you're actually punching with this one, you've got the larger bits at the top and bottom. All right, so we need to make sure to make it easy so that we can actually get the punch in there. We use that in the same place. So you pop it down there, push it down nice and firm. And then we want some embossing powder. Now, always use some folded up paper underneath to catch your embossing powder. Tip some on. Make sure you've got a good covering. And then all we do is just tip it up. There, you see? It's all stuck on there. Let's give it a little flick. And we can pour this oops back into our pot hence it was folded in half right, let's move that out of the way I'm going to be using that again in a minute so I'm not going to get rid of it entirely at least I think I am now use your heat tool or heat this little um, mat by the way it's just to protect the surface it's like a heat resistant mat because otherwise I end up with all the paper underneath going wrinkly now, let's just warm that up a little bit if when you're using an embossing tool, if you put it straight onto the paper or your card, all paper and card, because it's fibrous, does actually hold a certain amount of um, moisture. And if you put the heat tool on straight away, it doesn't actually heat your embossing powder straight away, but it does actually start drying out your card, so your card starts to warp. But now we've heated it up a bit, that's better. Now you just move it around so that it doesn't curl your card too much Oops. and you'll see just there we go hopefully you can see that on the camera just starting to change there we are that's loud isn't it right let's get rid of that now then with our punch we'll punch that out making it nicely lined up There we go. Move those over there. Now, I want to bring in some of my ink pads now because, if you noticed, I've done like a bit of a shadowing around it because what I was trying to do is help match up to this lovely variated pattern that we've got on the, on the paper. So we're going to start with Knight of Navy ink and an ink dobber, which sits very nicely on the end of your finger. Now we don't want too much of this because obviously it's quite dark, so let's just dab a bit of it off. Just go around your edges. Now don't be too careful with it. I mean obviously you don't want big splodges everywhere, but if you just brush it with your finger down the side of your card and then you get this sort of shaded effect going on okay now these little corners can be a little bit tricky to get to so what I tend to do is rub some of it off and then just using the edge just go into those corners you want to rub a bit of the ink off first though because otherwise you're going to end up with very very dark corners and it will look a bit bizarre and there we go that's it right that's our Night of Navy one done. Uh, let's put that over there. I'm trying to keep tidy today. I'm a very untidy person. So I'm trying to keep tidy. Right, now I'm bringing in some Bermuda Bay because we've got quite a contrast there and I want it to blend a bit more. So using some Bermuda Bay, 
make sure I haven't got too much on that but this time rather than going around the edges I'm actually going to be going across the top you see it's starting to change colour very very slightly and it just blends it in a bit nicer into that paler centre that we've got left over from the pool party cardstock there we go that's better isn't it see how that blended in just gives a little bit more of a variated feel to the card and then lastly because I want to soften up that night of navy a little bit and I also want just a slight shimmer I don't know if the camera is actually picking that up it might sound like a lot of fussing but when you've actually done it and you've finished it looks really really nice now I've already got some silver ink left on here from yesterday can you see how it just softens it up but at the same time it doesn't mask the navy because I don't actually want the navy covered up I just want it to give it it's almost like a pearly effect but it's just enough just to take the darkness off the navy so it doesn't look too black but at the same time give it a nice shimmer see it's quite pretty isn't it Right, so let's move that one out of the way. Now, I've also got some white ones. Uh, I did have one more white one to do. Where are we? There we are. There's our white one. So again, just need to punch that out. Now, I've done, I think I've done about 12 of each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, that's not 12, is it? <laughs> Let's try these ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I've done about eight of each, not twelve. <laughs> There's number nine. And then I've done definitely done three large ones. Absolutely sure I've done three large ones. Right, but back onto our white snowflakes. These ones I've embossed with the silver embossing powder how pretty does that look isn't that lovely I'm actually going to make these into some hanging decorations as well later I've already started them like this is one of my prototypes just punched out lots of shapes stuck them together and I think that is going to look beautiful that's going on to one of the um, Christmas banners that I'll be doing soon so you can see that one as well now this is soft sky so again let's get a bit of ink on our little dobber and just brush around the edge Oops. this one's very pale so you might need to a bit more ink on it because obviously you want to see it but you also want it to be very subtle there we go and do you know what else I'm going to do I'm actually just going to very gently shade just the centre only because I want it to give it a bit more of a three dimensional sort of effect when it goes on I'm going to run out of ink in a minute aren't I? the only problem is when you even start doing the middle one if you put too much ink on you end up with a big blob in the centre there's always going to be some ink left on your dobber though so yeah, it's not too sad there we go that looks pretty doesn't it right covered in glitter why is it when you use glitter it just goes absolutely everywhere <laughs> 